Hey everybody, Nick Tate here, Senior Editorial Manager with Banyan Hills Bold Profits team. A couple weeks back, I introduced you to my cat, Ginger. Now, if you happen to catch that piece, you may recall that it was all about the growing pet economy and a couple ways you can profit from it with smart investments. Now, you may also remember that I invited readers to write in and share their own stories and photos of their pets. Specifically, I asked, how much they spend or how much would they be willing to spend on the care and feeding of their dogs and cats? Well, let me just say that the response has been fantastic and I want to thank everybody who took the time to write in and share their stories and their photos. Now I figure Ginger has had her 15 minutes of fame, so I just wanted to share the spotlight a little bit and spend a few minutes today sharing the photos and the stories from our readers of their four-legged family members before giving you a quick reminder of how to capitalize on this soaring pet economy. So, here we go. First up is Tita. Tita comes to us from Toddy N from Hawaii. Just look at that face, my goodness. Toddy writes, your article on pet spending and recommendations to participate in this craziness hit home with me and I'm embarrassed to say how much we spend on her and for her, but she is priceless. Yeah, well, we can see that. And I hope my investment, he says, in this sector helps offset some of the incredible costs that come with having her. Well, thanks for sharing, and Toddy, we hope so too. Next up, we have Elsa, that's the dog on the left, and Oliver the cat, who come to us from Rose. Rose tells me, we buy insurance for Elsa to the tune of $25 a month, and even still, vet bills and heartworm medications cost around $400 for the year. Toys are about $300 more, and food is about $1,500, so in all, it's roughly $3,000 for Elsa every year. The cat, Oliver, costs us about $1,000 more a year. Finally, we have a series of family portraits from Karen and Don N., of three of their quote unquote grandchildren, as she calls them. First up is Pickles. Karen and her husband Don rescued Pickles from the pound. She'd been badly abused. Most of her teeth were broken, Karen says. It's just a heartbreaking story, as it turns out. So several dental surgeries were about $2,300, she tells me. Pickles has also had a series of benign tumors removed. They had to be taken off in surgeries that cost them about $650 each. So those surgeries about $650 each. The total was about $13,350, Karen says. Next up, here's Buddy. He's part pit bull and part dachshund, and Karen and Don inherited him from a friend who wasn't able to take care of him. Karen says Buddy suffered from valley fever, so early treatment and blood work cost them about $2,200. He's also had a series of mishaps over time, including a broken leg, which cost them $1,300 to repair, two torn ligaments for a total of about $6,600 for surgery, lab work, x-rays, and MRIs, and injuries from a car accident that cost $3,300 for two surgeries and physical therapy. Karen and her husband also have a third dog, and this is she. Her name is Gurr as in G-R-R-R-R, -R -R -R. and she too was inherited from a family friend. Karen says she has so many quirks and a weird personality that she entertains us all the time. Oh, and by the way, she sleeps with her tongue sticking out of her mouth. Now, how precious is that? Now, Gurr has had her share of medical bills too. Spaying, registration, and all her shots cost Karen and Don about 400 bucks, and she's also had surgery to repair an injured shoulder which set them back about $1,700 more. So altogether, Karen estimates that she and Don have spent more than $28,000 just for the medical care of their three dogs. Oh, and by the way, they also have three cats. They really are just a few of the Bold Profits readers who took the time to tell us about their pets and think of their pets as family and are willing to spend a lot of money on their care and their feeding, which was, of course, the main point of my original piece. Now, before I go, I just want to remind you that millions of American pet owners, just like Karen and Don, Rose and Toddy, spend upwards of $75 billion a year on their beloved four-legged companions. 
That's more than the combined gross domestic product of 39 countries in the world. And that figure will only grow, projected to grow by double digits, in fact, over the next three to five years, in part because millennials are igniting a new and huge pet economy boom. This, of course, is good news for uh, the pets of the world, like my pet, Ginger. But it's also great news for savvy investors who see the opportunity that it presents and buy into it right now. In fact, one publicly traded company at the forefront of the pet economy has seen its stock rise 21% this year alone. Now, that's more than the industry's overall 10% growth rate and well above the S&P 500, too. Revenue for this company, which provides animal medicines, vaccines, and other health-related products and services, is forecast to rise 34% by the year 2023. Now, in recommending this company to his Profits Unlimited subscribers, Paul Mampilli predicts that the stock for this company will rise 150% over the next three to five years. And that's a conservative estimate, he says. So how can you profit from this surging and soaring pet economy? Well, one way, of course, is to subscribe to Profits Unlimited or another of our bold profit services. Just click on the link over my shoulder to find out more. Another way to play this mega pet trend is to invest in an exchange traded fund or an ETF. I recommend the ProShares Pet Care ETF or BATS pause, easy to remember. It carries a basket of companies that deal in animal medicines, diagnostics, and many other products. The way I see it, spending on pets is growing at double the rate of the overall economy. So getting in on this booming market now will keep your portfolio, well, purring along, we might say. Well, that's it for me. Until next time, I'm Nick Tate, Senior Editorial Manager for Banyan Hills Bold Profits team. Thanks for watching.